interest rates are continuing to cooperate with uh, with our uh, um, our expectations in terms of uh, rates being solidly in the mid sixes. Hey there, everyone. Dave Barlow here with the gang from Sell for 1% Plus One. Rich Sircone, freshly back from the West Coast of the United States. I was expecting a little bit of a tan today, Rich. You st- well, you know, I've got I've got a little bit of a fogginess to my voice. It's uh, from being out in Seattle fog. Oh, boy. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm trying to uh, burn that off here, but uh, the... Weather in Ohio is not much cooperating either, but Happy New Year to everybody. And, and uh, interest rates are continuing to cooperate with uh, with our uh, um, our expectations in terms of uh, rates being solidly in the mid sixes right now. Uh, and uh, we've had a little bit of an uptick in rates as the year started. Uh, there's not there's a little uncertainty as to what the Fed is going to do what uh, inflation is going to do. So everybody's kind of padding their bet a little bit. And we've seen a little bit of an uptick in the 10-year note. It's up about 15 basis points from what it was at the end of December. But uh, in general, rates are still there. And um, the thing we're waiting on right now is tomorrow is the non-farm payroll jobs number from the, uh, from the, from the feds. And so once we see that, we'll have a better indication of what rates will do here moving forward this month. Um, a, as we've always said, a weaker number is better for rates. Uh, a weaker employment number is better for rates. If you hear employment knocked it out of the park tomorrow, probably rates have skated up a little bit. And if, uh, if it was weaker than expected, then probably we'll see the rates go down just a tick. So uh, you uh, mentioned a little bit earlier before we came on air here that you've seen a little uptick or seen a, a pretty decent uptick in business uh, here at the uh, beginning of the year. I see a lot of people interested. There's a lot of people that are shaking off the Christmas, uh, the, the you know, the, the, the Christmas eggnog and they're, they're ready to get out there and look at houses. And so... Uh, I anticipate there's going to be a lot of competition for houses as we move forward. So the sooner you jump in and identify the right house, I think the better. Uh, I've, I've had quite a few calls while I was out west from people that are uh, interested in getting started and getting pre-approved. That's good. It's uh, 10.30 on January 4th. And uh, Jamie, you just came back in from uh, a showing at 9 o'clock this morning. Jay. You're on your way back from a showing here this morning. Uh, we've had uh, phone calls coming into the office as I hold down the fort. And so we're kind of seeing the same thing here, Rich. Great. Great. So Let's hope for a good 2024 for everyone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people that really would like to move to a bigger house, a different house. And um, I think this is the year that they may decide that got to go ahead and do that. Yeah, um, it, you know, we talked a little bit yesterday uh, in our uh, team meeting and our market predictions and whatnot that, you know, we ha- we're, we're a metro area of about 2.2 million people. Uh, there's about 800,000 people predicted to move into the area over the next 20 to 25 years, and that could change. Intel itself uh, and I've heard estimates that they could have as many as 50,000 employees in three different manufacturing plants out there in the New Albany area. Uh, the trickle-down effect of that has to be off the charts crazy yeah. uh, just from the number of people that they would bring in, you know, for those. Um, so, you know, Columbus is a great position. Uh, even during the uh, 2008 to 2012 foreclosure crisis, um, I mean, we saw housing, you know, slow and we saw prices, you know, go down, uh, but nowhere near like what we saw happening in California, Las Vegas, Texas, Florida, uh, some of the big metropolitan areas. Uh, so I think that if we see rates uh, continue down, 
we predicted, I predicted, I think rates by the time that we get to April, May, June will be in the five and a half or even less uh, percentage wise, just because it's an election year. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I think that uh, it, it is data dependent. That's what the Fed has said. Um, but the indications are that inflation is uh, definitely um, less of a factor than it was last year. And uh, again, things like the jobs number that we're going to see tomorrow are going to be very uh, uh, um, uh, pivotal to what happens moving forward in 2024. And uh, so we see a weaker number that that's that's good for interest rates. Not that we want to see people losing jobs, but a lot of that is just statistics, as we know. Well, you had the big buildup, you know, from Christmas and all the uh, part-time jobs, and I know they throw a lot of those numbers, you know, into the Fed numbers, and and you know they there's a lot of smoke and mirrors, I guess, is the best way to put it. So we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow, and then we'll check in with you next week to see about interest rates and um, hopefully they'll continue their downward uh, move and it'll make, as you said, for a very nice 2024. Great. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, joining. Jada Bomb, be safe out there on the highways and byways of uh, life <laughs> as you head back into, and I think, Jamie, you said you're writing up an offer, so that's a good thing. Uh, if you like this uh, information, please hit that like and subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. If you have any questions about uh, a loan, be sure to call uh, Rich. His contact information is here. Even when Rich is on vacation, he's taking phone calls. So that's the dedication that we have here at Sell for 1%. We pretty much work seven days a week. I tell a lot of my clients I'm like an emergency room doctor. Um, people call all hours and, and normally we are taking those phone calls. So, uh, again, if you have any questions about buying, selling, getting a loan, we're the crew that you want to talk to, uh, be sure to uh, like, and subscribe, and, uh, we will talk to you next week. Thanks guys. Thanks, Dave.